from the planet Earth. We're here at the activist post to wake up you sheep a little bit more on just how much control the United Nations has over our country and to remind you of how failed our system is and how imperative it is that the people stand up along with their governors and take this country back. Anyway, over here to the post, UN drugs are states can't legalize marijuana under international law. The president of the UN's International Narcotics Control Board, Raymond Yans, wrote a threatening letter to the U.S. government to challenge marijuana legalization in Colorado and Washington. Apparently, the voters in Colorado and Washington were unaware that they would not only have to fight the federal government, but the global drug czars as well in their effort to exercise their local sovereignty. Mr. Yan stated that these developments are in violation of the international drug control treaties and pose a threat to the public uh, health and a well-being of society far beyond those states. Cut the bullshit, Mr. Yans. People are going to be more healthy if they start consuming marijuana. I know I'm a 26-year smoker. Fit as a fiddle. Six-pack abs. Hardly ever get sick. Bullshit. Anyway, back to the post. Yan says marijuana legalization sends the wrong message to use in society. Pause again. The fuck it does. It sends a message to society that we need to free natural things that we need to be more concerned with our rights as sovereign people as, than we do with uh, laws written on paper anyway legalization of cannabis within these states would send the wrong and confusing signals to youth and society in general giving the false impression that drug abuse might be considered normal and even most disturbingly safe actually sir it's going to send a message to the american people that maybe all along it should have been illegal that money and manipulation are the reason that it's illegal okay the corporate machine wants to keep it illegal maybe these two states standing out will actually cause everybody else to stand up and then you'll have less control that's what this is all about fuck you mr yans i didn't agree to you i won't agree to you Yans reminds the United States that they agreed to the 1961 single convention on narcotics drugs now you see people pause again you see, 1961, this system has failed. Okay, this, this, this government that we have has failed. We agreed to shit. Who agreed to shit? I was born in 1970. I didn't agree to fucking any of this. Bullshit. Bullshit. No, I will not fucking comply. And you shouldn't comply either. I'm going to link you to the post. I, I, that's an, I'm going to go ahead and read it because I know most of you won't. So anyway... Uh, that was agreed by 185 states, decided to place cannabis under control and limit its use to medical purposes. Um, so if you don't think the UN controls almost every bit of your daily life, think again. In the final section of his letter, Jans makes a veiled threat to the U.S. Uh, that the U.S. has an obligation to make sure their states are in compliance with UN conventions or they will be in violation of international treaty. Wait a minute. Veiled threat to the U.S., uh, that they have an obligation to make sure their states. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We are not their states. They are our government. That is, you see, you see, can you see through the bullshit or has the fluoride caused your eyes to gel over and, and your mind not to be able to define common English? The United States has an obligation to serve the states within its continental borders. The states within the continental borders do not have an obligation to serve the United States Corporation. Bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. Mr. Yans, Mr. Obama, anyone else that thinks like you, looks like you, acts like you, you go to fucking hell. Because unless my signature is on any one of those laws, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have to comply. Everybody else, much love, many thanks, and I want to add this to it. We've had this system in our country since the beginning. It has failed to the point that we had to make it a corporation. It has failed to the point that we've had the Great Depression. We're on the edge of an economic collapse and civil uprising. This system does not work. I love my country in relation to its land mass. 
I love my country in relation to the people that live within the borders of that landmass. But as far as the United States government corporation written on paper, go fuck yourself.